up to the day I killed my father, there wasn't a man in Ireland who the kind I was. <laughs> oh, no, there, drinking, waking, eating, sleeping, a quiet, poor, simple fellow. And no man giving me heed. Oh, and, I, and after toiling, moiling, digging, dodging, from dawn till dusk, and never a sight of joy or sport. You know, save, saving only when I'd be abroad in the dark night, poaching rabbits on hills. You know, for I was a devil to poach. Oh, I'd, I'd be as happy, you know, as the, as the sunshine of St. Martin's Day. Just watching the light pass in the north, or, you know, the patches of fog. And then, I'd hear rabbits starting to screech. And I'd go running in the furs. <laughs> then when I'd have my full share, I'd come walking down, the way you'd see the ducks and the geese. Stretch sleeping on the highway of the road. And before I'd even pass the dunghill, I'd hear himself snoring. There's a big, loud, lonesome snore. He'd be making all times the while he was sleeping. And this man, he'd be raging. You know, all times the while he was waking, like a like a guardy officer, you'd hear just cursing and damning and Swearing oaths after drinking for weeks, rising up in the red dawn, or before maybe, going out into the yard as naked as an ash tree in the moon of May, and shining clods against the visage of the stars till he put the fear of death into the bonhams and the screeching sows. You know, and his sons and daughters walking all the great states and territories of the world, and not one of them would but say their seven curses on him, and they rousing up to let a cough or a sneeze maybe in the deadness of night. I'm telling you, it was a sorry life he led me. They lighted up a Tuesday and half his skull.